Before I forget, I want to thank Ilya Wine for sponsoring the Daily Smash. And this is the last day. How can day. we forget? We opened a bottle. Oh, we did. This is the Roble Red. And it's delicious. And this is the last day you can get your 20% discount. Uh, after today, it'll be back to 10%. But 20% off if you make your order today at Ilya.com and use a discount code Rick and Kelly 20 Somebody said to us, do you really think this wine is really that good? It really is good. We wouldn't promote it if we didn't love it. And we would not promote it if we didn't love it. I forget who we said wouldn't. it to us. One of our, one of our, somebody that we ran into. We need to believe in the product to pitch it on here. Of course, to, to share anything. it with you. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. I would never do that. You guys know that. Unless it was a lot of money. <sighs> mm-hmm. That was a joke. Yeah. Look, I see. It hurts. Oh, honey. It hurts to walk on it. Are you supposed to take that off? That's what she told me to pull it out. Oof. That's what the lady told me at the thing. I have to go get a corn thing. The little pads. Yeah. All right, we'll go to the drugstore tomorrow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include that in the Yeah, you intro? can. Why not? Uh, this is the Daily Smash <laughs> for uh, Tuesday, May 16th. Kelly was just picking at a scab on the bottom of her foot. I don't have a scab. Everyone knows it's a corn. A corn, sorry. It's, it's a, a corn. It's a corn on the bottom of my foot, like right there. Should I do a close-up of it? Show our viewers? It feels like it's um like a callus, like it like um it feels like there's something in it, like it's like, and it feels well. The lady at the nail place told me that I could pull it out, and I'm trying to. Well, like there's a root. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Maybe wait till after the show to finish that job. I'll go get a pad. We're, we're in the living room of our house in West Hampton, New York. We flew on a red eye from LAX Sunday night. It didn't leave until one in the morning. <laughs> and we get to the airport, and uh, Kelly decided to uh, take a gummy to help relax before we got on the well, plane. Well, because I didn't want to drink alcohol um, before. Like, well, first of all, I couldn't get any alcohol because all- <laughs> everything was closed. <laughs> everything was closed. But it was before we got there. But and- I knew the airport. Um, I knew the airport bars closed. Yeah. And so I thought, you know what? I'll take a gummy. No, actually, what happened was my mother wanted the gummy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my mom is trying not to smoke. So <laughs> she goes, I haven't smoked in a month and a half. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a whole bunch of gummies in our safe. And so I go, oh, okay, well, I'll give you some. And so when I gave them to her, I'm like, oh, only take half because they're like 10 milligrams. I go, only take half. They're strong. So I take it before I leave, and I was like, woo, like totally like out of it. And then I go in there, and I said, Mom, like, how do you feel? She's like, dude, I totally have like a high tolerance. <laughs> and I go, really? And she's like, yeah. She's like, I totally have a she's like, and I, And I took another one. Yeah, so. Uh, and so anyway, nonetheless, I made you take one. Yeah, so, and I'm, obviously, I don't have a high tolerance because, we get to the airport, and we have four heavy pieces of luggage, big bags, and this giant outdoor cushion that uh, Kelly's um, cushion lady put in a, like a sack that we could check as luggage to get it here to New York because it's going on a day bed outside by the pool. So first of all, I load up all these heavy bags on the cart, and Kelly is carrying the sack. It looks like a body. In a bag. And we were joking about it. So I'm wheeling the cart, which is on wheel. No, we call, it, we, call it, we call it the body. We, we, yeah. we said there's a dead body. We told everybody there was a dead body and in it, there. And then people were like, we're like, wait, don't touch the head. That's what you said. <laughs> you're, no, you're like, be careful of the head. Because yeah. I was like going like this. Airplane. When we were putting it in the van on the way to the airport. So then I shot a video because it was so funny. Kelly carrying this massive big thing. I want to show you what it looked like. And then you'll see... All the bags tumbled off my cart. Watch this. I got my body. <laughs> the body. <laughs> I can't believe I'm carrying this thing here. 
Ay, sorry. <laughs> the whole thing with five pieces of luggage. Five. So I said, you can hear me saying any second now, I was going to say any second now, this whole thing's going to gonna fall over because I could feel the, it starting to go and then it just completely and, fell off. And the staff from JetBlue were dying laughing. There were people outside. They were, you know, look at these idiots. Like, you know, lost all So I restacked it very neatly. And then we go into the, into the terminal and... <laughs> He's like, so it was, it was, um, so, so then we, we get up to the counter and I went, first I went to a kiosk because you have to check pre-check in before you check your bags. You have to get the luggage, tag. all the stuff comes out of the, the, uh, the, the kiosk there. And they charged me for every bag. And I didn't realize this when I booked our flights on JetBlue and I, I booked a whole row. We got three seats together so that we could stretch out. But wait, wait, real quick. He was going to upgrade. They had one seat at Mint and that's like layout seats. And he goes, um, I got it for you for Mother's Day. Yeah. Uh, and I'm like, no, I go, I want to sit with you. Like, I want to lay with you. Like, I want you to lay on my lap. Yeah, they only had one yeah. Mint seat left and I was going to put her in that seat but then she didn't and she offered a let me have it, but I didn't want to sit by myself up up front. I wanted to be with Kelly, so but I was willing to let her go. Up front. I wanted her to go up front, and so the two of us just wound up staying together. And we slept on each other in the three seats, which was really romantic. And it, was, it was not bad. The right. flight was not bad, and you know we we both well, we slept. have men going back because that takes forever to get back. Yeah, home. so I upgraded us to men going home. But here's the thing. So when I checked the bags, got the stickers at the kiosk, I had to pay for all of them. And yeah, it was like, it was like thirty dollars or the for the first was... bag, and sixty dollars for the second bag, for both of us. And there was one other charge. I don't know why, but it was like no, a... the, 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 the third one was eighty six, and then the, the Wait, fourth hold... one was one hundred sixty. No, hold on. So, no, I paid for four bags at the kiosk, and I told them there was a fifth item, but I I called it a stroller or something because I couldn't figure out what to call no, it. No, because they said that strollers don't get. Uh, uh, Charles, like I said, I said her name was Gloria. I go, Gloria, it's a stroller. <laughs> and she's like, huh? And I, she was like, what's in there? I go, Gloria, it's a stroller. <laughs> no. And so she goes. So the guy came by. Okay, wait, go wait, ahead. You're oh, jumping yeah, yeah. ahead. Oh yeah. I, 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 I give her the bag tags for the four suitcases, and I explain that I couldn't figure out how to do the fifth one. So she goes in the computer, and I said, and we have three seats. She goes in the computer, and she goes. Uh, and first Kelly goes, can I use, can I put this in the third seat? Cause it was this big soft thing that could be like a giant pillow for us on the way here. But I thought it was too big. And plus it's oversized carrying it on the plane. It would have been ridiculous. But, but, but then we were like, well, can we just check this as, as a piece of luggage? She goes, well, I can't assign this thing, this cushion to your middle seat because it's not a person in that seat. So it won't, the computer won't let me assign it. And Kelly's going, but it is a person. And this, this, a, I like, said it identifies as a person. Yeah, and okay? I said it's cushy. You can identify <laughs> as a woman. You can identify as a man. You can identify as a they. Yeah. You can identify. Why can't this one? Everyone else is doing it. I thought I'd do it. And she, she, so, she, so she then she says she goes she back in her computer and she's figuring out. She goes, um, so it has to be a third suitcase for either you or your wife. And she goes, it has to be a person. Right, have to, we have to assign it to a person. So you each already have two check bags. This would be a third check bag for one of you, and it would be $180 for this one 25-pound cushion. $180. And I go, come on. I mean, let, there's got to be a way around this. We already, we already bought three seats, and I already paid $190 to check our luggage. You're going to charge me another 180 for this one thing? That's just not fair. So that's when the supervisor came over, the yes, guy sir, in the vest. Rick goes, can I, can I talk to a supervisor, please? I said, can you get somebody on the phone who can fix this for us? But not realizing that the guy who looked like he was supposed to be directing traffic on the runway because he was wearing the vest, the bright vest and all that, was actually a supervisor for JetBlue. And after about five minutes of looking at the computer and asking us questions. No, 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 he goes, he goes, 
so what is that? And I go, it's um, it's a cushion um, for a cabana. And he goes, is it an outside cushion? <laughs> and like I'm like, what matters. does it matter? Like, if it's an outside, indoor, whatever. Like, <laughs> I'm, I looked at Rick. I didn't say that to him because yeah. I wanted him to, like, wave it. But I'm like... What does he care if it's an outdoor cushion? Yeah, like, what difference does it make? No, it's only indoor. Oh, well, if it's an indoor cushion, that's different. Like, what? What are you talking about? So, finally, he goes, all right, we can waive the 150 charge for that. I'm like, so it was we one- paid for another seat. Right. Who cares if it's, it has to be a person? Like, so, just weird. And she said 180, and then he said wave the 150. So in the end, we didn't pay any extra for that cushion, which is great. But then the craziest thing happened. We get to the uh, to the gate area, and we're just sitting there waiting. And we were early, and there were no lounges open, no, no bars No, 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 no. That's not how it went. So <clears throat> Rick oh. takes the gummy, okay? <laughs> and he's splatters the the all the luggage everywhere yeah and he is like Ooh. so we get we get checked in and there was nobody in no we go through security we go through security and i you know go in and all of a sudden i'm like putting my stout i'm getting all the stuff and i'm like where's rick <laughs> he's on the other side like there where the other lanes. lane the two lanes Somehow on I the other up, side i wound up on the wrong the other lane where the other people were putting their bags and i'm standing there looking for my stuff and i hear kelly going rick what are you doing i go and I rick up, what are you doing he's like this <laughs> <laughs> like that and it I'm wasn't like, quite that I'm bad done. no so then i'm like trying to like get everything together because i'm the only one that has their wits about me which is shocking <laughs> and 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 i get his computer and i put it in his backpack in my backpack and and, and I guess I put it in the wrong slot, right? Well, because my backpack has three zippered pockets, and the rear pocket is the padded pocket for the laptop. It's this thin, and that's where the laptop goes. That's where I keep my laptop. So once she calls me over, and I go over, and I'm, now I'm like, oh, okay, here's my stuff. And I start putting my stuff away. There's a laptop in one of the trays, and I pick it up, and I open my zipper, the zippered pocket and, and, where, the, where the laptop goes. And I goes. saw him do that, but I thought... Well, he's he's rearranging the the computer because I put it in the wrong slot. She and I put knew it. What, she I, put it in one of the front pockets. So when I picked up my backpack and I picked up this laptop and I opened the back, there was nothing. There was no computer in the back. So I naturally assumed that's my laptop. It looked just like it, and I slid it in, not knowing that she had already put my laptop in one of the front pockets. Right. So you guys saw my outfit, right? It was Aviator Nation hot pink. Okay, you could not miss pink me. jumpsuit. Pink. Sweat outfit. Yeah, okay? like a, like like from and the sweats. from the eighties. She yeah. looked like she was a a break dancer. I did, and I had my Vans on, so I looked. And even your black more. baseball cap. Yeah. So we sit down. So and eventually we get to the gate. So go ahead, tell me what happened. Well, we're sitting there, and this guy comes up, and he's all out of breath, like he's been running all over the airport looking for. And us. we were like fifty five A, okay. Yeah. So we were the, at the way, way, way end. All the way at the end. <laughs> And he comes running up and he goes, you guys have my wife's laptop. And I go, what? He goes, you have my wife's laptop in, in, in your bag. And I go, I don't, okay. And I reach in my bag and I pull out the laptop that and, I and thought no, was no, no. mine. He goes, where's my laptop? No, I said, well, uh, when I pulled out, I pulled out his laptop and, and opened it up thinking it's my laptop. And sure enough, it was his wife's laptop. And I go, well, if this is yours... And you better have mine because I just assumed that he took mine and I took hers. Right. And Kelly goes, I put a laptop in your bag. And I go, what? And I open the, <laughs> my backpack and lo and behold, there's my laptop in the front pocket. And I go look at the guy. I go, dude, I'm so sorry. So then I, I go, how did you know it was us? I go, do you have an air tracker on that? And he goes, that we, we went back to the cameras and they're like, it's the lady in the pink jumpsuit. Yeah, and he's like, jumpsuit, jumpsuit, because he was jumpsuit, running away to jumpsuit. tell his wife that he found it. I guess she, he was, she was probably still back at security. They're trying to figure out where this lady was. And he goes, he, he gets the left and, he, and she goes, how did you find it? He goes, jumpsuit, jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, taking off. Then I saw him again. We, we walked down and go, to go to the bathroom, and I'm waiting outside for Kelly. And I see the guy coming. I go, oh, there he is. I was like, I was like 
I, I forget what I asked him about how, like how, um, how they tracked it down, and then and he and he filled in some blanks about the the, the security jumpsuit. people yeah, and the went. pink jumpsuit. And I was like, can you imagine if if we hadn't if he hadn't found us and we made it here? And I opened my backpack and I have a random extra laptop. I was like, I don't know how we would have found you. And he was just like, he was so relieved. Yeah, he was cool. And so was she. Yeah. She was cool too. It was just the strangest How mix up. awful would that be? Yeah. I mean, losing your wallet has got to be the worst because everything is in there. And think of like all the credit cards and stuff that you forget that you have. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I wrote down in here a, a little funny anecdote. You were telling me a story, and I don't remember why, about someone who was playing an instrument a friend of yours who, who, who played and you're like she played a flute or something no i go she played the flute or something i go she, yeah. she was in a symphony yeah and i go i and i said she played the flute or something and i looked at kelly and this is how well i know my wife okay i look at her and i go was it a clarinet <laughs> i go it was and she goes yes it was a clarinet <laughs> it was and, and I'm like, okay, I knew when she said a flute or something. I knew right away because I know what Kelly. I was, yeah, what I was saying, like what I, I was thinking in my brain. I knew that it wasn't a flute because she wouldn't have said a flute or something if it was a flute. She well, I went known. like this with my hands. <laughs> so when she did that, I'm like, okay, obviously a wind instrument. Well, it could have been anything, right? <laughs> right, but a... I figured it out right away that it was a clarinet. Yeah, it was. So anyway. That was funny. That was funny. Um, he knows me better than <laughs> I thought. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then oh, one quick thing when we were on the plane. We go to our seats. And, you know, there's an area in, in the middle of the JetBlue planes that has Oh, my has God. Sodas. This was so funny. <laughs> they have, like, sodas and waters and Cheez-Its and, like, like li these terrible little, um, like, energy bars. or what those, They suck. And they, there was no real good snack. But, Kelly, we go to our seats, and she goes, can you go up there and get me some Cheez-Its? <laughs> I love Cheez-Its. And I honestly thought that they were reserved for mint. The Alaska would be flu mint. And we, I went back there and helped myself to a bunch of snacks at some point. And I, for whatever reason, thought that those were actually for the mint people. But I guess they're for everyone. Mm -hmm. But we hadn't taken off yet. So, Kelly, can you get me some Cheez-Its? So I go up. And first I use the bathroom because I want to be stealth about it. And I wash my hand. And I come out. And I go to open the latch and grab two bags of cheese. And this lady, go, the, and the flight attendant goes, absolutely. <laughs> what the hell? Sorry. The lady stops him. And I'm looking from my seat, right? I'm like, what is going on over there? Is he... Because I thought that too. I'm like, is this meant for mint? Maybe he got in trouble because it was meant for mint. That's well. What, so, that's what so I, 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 <laughs> I grabbed the two bags of Cheez Its, and the flight attendant was right there, like she was waiting for me to do it. She goes, uh, "Excuse me, those are for after takeoff." And, and and I was like, "I, we're gonna be asleep." My wife asked me to get these for her now. Can I just bring these back to? You? Absolutely not. Took the Cheez Its from me, put them back in the thing and closed the okay, thing. Why and, and do I have to wait till after takeoff to eat my Cheez Its? They're for everyone. They're for and everyone. We're already on the What's plane. What's the difference between if we take off, then I go walk down? Maybe she thought there'd be a mad rush on Cheez Its before we took off and everyone would be out of their seats. It makes like there's no common sense there. And what does it matter? You were right there. I could have grabbed him on my way to my seat right. as I was boarding. I, would she have stopped me at that point? Maybe because they're apparently not for distribution until after takeoff. It was the strangest thing. So I came back to the seat. So anyway, I wanted my Cheez-Its. <laughs> I didn't get my Cheez-Its. And then my mom packed them a, a goodie bag. Oh, yeah. I had uh, peanut butter covered pretzels. And I don't really care peanut for Peanut butter filled uh, pretzels. I don't like those in M&M's he had. I, I, I didn't want those either. However, I do love Cheez-Its. And if I buy a box of Cheez-Its, I'll eat the whole Cheez-It box in one sitting. Well, I came back. That's why I never buy them. I came back to the seat. I go, babe. I got caught trying to get the Cheez-Its. And uh, the flight attendant reprimanded me. And it was really embarrassing. <laughs> I go, you couldn't, like score, this. you couldn't score the Cheez-Its? No, she goes, I can't, I, I can't, have to, I can go back and get them after takeoff. I go, if, that makes zero sense. It felt like the whole plane was watching me. <laughs> <laughs> like I got caught, caught red-handed. 
So uh, we get to the house, and our whole reason for being here is to spring clean. It's just to, to take care of all the things that need to be taken care of before our uh, tenants get here for, for the uh, summer. For the summer, I have a red light blinking. I might be a space issue. Let me just uh, okay. pause it, re restart. All right. Let me uh, let me read the Hamptons magazine while you uh, clear some space. Okay, so I freed up some room in the card, and we're back. Um, so anyway, our whole point of being here is to spring clean. And do projects. And by the way, it's just not like it's not like spring spring cleaning like you think, like you're organizing, taking things. Uh uh, no 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 no. This is like painting, uh, uh, hosing up, not hosing, but power washing. Remove like changing deck boards that are rotting. Sanding. Uh huh. Cutting down trees. Uh, um, doing some serious weeding and uh, like it's it's hard work and we're gonna have a yard sale another yard sale we're having another yard if sale if you're in the West Hampton area on Saturday yeah uh, I think we're gonna post it on Craigslist yeah if you guys are here come over yeah and uh, and we're gonna have some good stuff this couch for example yeah this couch is from West these Elm. chairs these we're chairs gonna... these swivel I, I bought these swivel chairs last year yeah these are nice chairs yeah uh, this table. Yeah, I think we're gonna sell that. Um, <laughs> we're gonna sell that. This is not this. I we're gonna get rid of that. Oh, oh no, yeah. we're gonna get a big couch in here. Oh yeah. Wanna, oh, we're buying a new couch. We're buying furniture. Well, I want to show people. Here's here's what it looks like, like the back. And oh, I think, it, and it's. I can't wait to show them what it's going to look like. What I'm yeah. gonna get done with it. Yeah. <laughs> so that ping pong table should not have been left out all winter but it was but i think if i get a new net it might be okay you see all those vines i'm gonna cut all those off well what about the door that ripped off from the weather? yeah that i don't know if that's on this video but i have to replace the door that cabana that's what we got the cushion for i think we're gonna paint that white and we got new cushion covers for that couch it's gonna look really yes. nice it's all gonna match navy it's all gonna have some continuity that's a Can't privacy wait to get a hold fence. of it that's a uh, that privacy fence with all the hedges on it, like all the greenery on it. That's on purpose. I'm selling all those white things too. I can't. Are we gonna get rid them. of those? Really? We can keep two of them. For what? They're ugly. We're, I got pretty. I know we got. Ones. We got. I gotta put those together. We got four massive. Why would we keep two of those? I don't know. So the little seating area in the corner or something. But the, all those um, bushes, I'm gonna trim them back in the morning and, and make it real clean and neat and I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done and beyond those, that tree line there that's the bay it's like two, we're 200 yards from the bay yeah if you it's just like if you it's like like one block and, yeah and the water's right there you should have went upstairs you can see the water from there um yeah we'll show them around we'll give you more videos this week and we want to show you before and afters it's too it's a tiny little house but it's um in, in cute neighborhood cute name it's it's a it's cute here. Yeah, it is. And it's quiet. Really, um, there's a lot of privacy. And it's cozy. It's, uh, it's we got bunnies, wild bunnies in the yard. Deer. Deer everywhere. Mm -hmm. it's, it's cool. Uh, and we have a very busy week. We did do a lot of shopping today. Wait, we, I want to show, so I'm going to show you guys around. Like, I want to show them, like, like these stools right here, they're, like, falling apart. I got new ones. We'll do that tomorrow. Okay. Because we're, we're already, we're right. long. Okay, right. Um, but I did want to mention that uh, on Thursday, if you want to see us, we're both going to be on Newsmax Thursday afternoon. They asked me to be on Newsmax. Could yeah. you imagine? <laughs> First they Could asked. Could you per imagine they're asking me to be on Newsmax? Well, they, you have a lot of fans at Newsmax. I, I, I'm shocked. You do. They, I'm shocked I have any fans. There's some producers there who are all. big fans of yours. So they asked me to sit in for a two-hour block from 2 to 4 Eastern time. And I'm going to be on like sporadically for doing different segments, talking about different items in the news. I guess they do that with the like, guest guests who will sit in, you know, for the, that one show for two hours. Anyway, they said, "Hey, would your wife Kelly be available for a segment?" It's all an all women panel. I was like, "Yeah, absolutely." She, I'm I afraid. mean, I asked you, and you were. I you think were, I'm going to be quiet on that because you're not used to it. Well, I'm used to be on. I mean, I used to do press junkets all the time, but yeah. Um, I don't know. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of. I'm not on news. I've always nah, been on. Be fine. I've always been on like halfway stupid stuff, like E Entertainment, Access Hollywood. Well, then I'm doing Entertainment news. Tonight. Yeah, you'll be fine. TMZ. You'll be. Fine. Those are the press junkets I go. To. That's like, like dumb. Like things that I no, can I, do. I'm, I'm sure. But I, I'm going to ask you to talk about stuff that you're familiar with. They'll ask you to talk about probably Bravo stuff or whatever. They'll have topics that you'll. I mean, I don't want them saying, oh, so what is the GNP of the... <laughs> I don't think... Or GDP. 
<laughs> you know what? I'll get one of those earpieces and I'll be in the ear. ear. I'll be in the, in the control. Like, oh. Don't forget about this. Say that. <laughs> you don't need me. You're fine. Um, but I'm, then I'm doing News Nation with Dan Abrams uh, that evening. There's another like did hour he, long Did you work with show. him? I never worked with him, but I knew him back uh -huh. in the day. Hmm. We had mutual friends. Nice. So that'll be Thursday. And then we're right back here and we're going right back to work. <laughs> so I go, all right, I'm calling Angie's list. So I get this phone call and Rick goes, he's like, hi, my name is Roberto. I live in Riverhead. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> because it's too much for you to do all by yourself. Well, I, I, I don't know uh, the lifting and the, and the hammering. It's just, it's. I'm not worried about that, but there's just, there's only so much mu time. It's too much. We need to get this situated. That, that deck, that huge, is huge uh, area. I don't have time to sand and paint the whole thing, but it needs it. So that's why we hire somebody I like I think him. you've been putting wrong wood in that all the, all the while. No, I'm putting pressure treated lumber in there. It's fine. It's, it's better than the wood that's there. Okay. That, that, that's not what's rotting. I mean, maybe some of it is, but it's just whatever. Anyway, let's let's get out of here. We're, we're running long. Let's do an in the news, shall we? Okay. Yeah, in the news. So Billy Joel is the piano man. He's he's from Long Island. Mm -hmm. I used to um, every time I go to Southampton or East yeah. Hampton, I always see his daughter there. Oh yeah, I think I was with you. And when I, we saw and, her and once. We saw yeah. I saw you there. I said, remember I told you every time I come here, I yeah. see I run into her, and then I run into Christy Brinkley. That was his ex-wife, right? Mm hmm Well, I mean, he's an institution here. He's been here forever, and he has an insane estate not far from here, and he's selling it. He's moving to Florida. He's Republican. <laughs> his house is in the village of Center Island, roughly 40 miles east of Midtown Manhattan. We're about 78 miles from the city, so about halfway here. He has a 26-acre estate. That's for sale for $49 million. That's okay. Chump change. Uh, it's on the North Shore. He bought it in, 20, in 2002 for $22.5 million. And now he's asking $49 million. He initially bought 14 acres, but then he started buying other parcels around it. So now he has a total of 26 acres. You know how much land that is on the water? Wow, he's a compound. Um, it's... it's uh, Close to Joel's hometown of Hicksville. It's located That's in the, the name? Hicksville? Hicksville, yeah. Shut the front door. Yeah, you see it on, on the signs on the LIE. And I, every Hicksville? Time I, yeah, I'm always like, I, I would never live in Hicksville just because it's called Hicksville. Just like I would never live in Flushing, because there's a town of Flushing on Long Island. Oh. In, in near Queens, in oh. Queens, New York. Anyway. Well, I like the name Queens, and the Queens is... I wouldn't live in Queens either. Me either. But <laughs> he's in the town of Oyster Bay. An extraordinary, one-of-a-kind waterfront estate. 2,000 feet of waterfront footage. That's in, in, an insane am, amount of waterfront. That's what the house looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's moving to Florida? There's a room. There's another room. That's the kitchen. Yeah, he's moving to Florida. Like everybody else. The main house includes more than 20,000 square feet. If you fled, you most vote red. That's what my girlfriend's saying, Arizona. <laughs> Five bedrooms, eight baths, has an elevator. There's an additional three-bedroom beach house, a pool, a helicopter pad, a floating dock, and a boat ramp. There's also a three-bedroom guest apartment, a bowling alley, and an indoor pool. Wow. Pretty so cool. you can have this for $49 million. Chump change. Uh, we have a lot to get to. This week, and we're going to share it with you, and we hope you'll you'll watch and see these projects unfold, and and the before and afters are going to be awesome. Oh. <laughs> I appreciate you so much for doing this with me. You have no idea how grateful oh, I am, and how, how how much better this place has looked since you started making some changes here. Thank since you, you, babe. Put your your uh, your great taste to work. Yeah. So anyway, hope you have a smash tastic day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow, guys.